What's up guys? It's Friday and you know what time it is. Uh, I'm just trying to come up with more ways to do these intros because Lord knows I've done every way already. What the f I will bring back the lab coat at some point, but I realized it looked like a ninja costume. I'm gonna try to find a way to make that more like intuitively a lab coat. I think it might involve like a Dr. Norton on the chest here. Maybe we'll do it in crayon just to poke fun at these uh, doctors who uh, wear these things in videos. Document! <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, must have been something I ate, possibly the Diet Coke. Now I have to admit to you guys, I've already watched this video because the image on the front was just uh, too juicy. Uh, I don't normally comment on people's appearance, but this guy just looks like a clown. So I'm biased going in. He looks like a clown. He's probably gonna say some clown stuff. And for that, we thank him. So this comes from T-Walk Da Hulk Fitness. T-Walk Da Hulk Fitness. You know it's always gonna be a good, a good one when their account has Da, like D-A, Da Hulk. The Scientific Hulk. What do you guys think? My next, my next username. Let's see what Da Hulk has to say about rice. Stop eating it, pay attention. Rice is the single biggest source of inorganic arsenic. Arsenic is the number one ingredient in rat poisoning. Cool. So did you know that apples have cyanide in them? Which is what they use to gas and kill people? For, for any, this is probably not obvious to anyone who hasn't had basic physiology class or toxicology, but there's this thing called the dosage makes the poison. Do, do we have like, droves of Asian countries have people dying and falling over because of arsenic. Oh wait, that's right. They actually live longer than Western countries. How could that be with they're eating so much rice with arsenic in it? Oh, that's right. It's such a tiny amount. You don't need to worry about it. Just please, please listen to me. Listen, the dosage makes the poison. If you drink enough water, it will kill you. You can die from too much water. The dosage, one, one more time, one more time for the people in the back. The dosage, the dosage makes, makes the poison. Okay, so we're uh, five seconds in. This might be a while. Rice is high on the glycemic index and spikes your blood sugar levels, which causes diabetes. Well, that was a large leap. We've covered this on this channel previously, but this idea that the short-term blood glucose response predicts long-term blood glucose levels is completely false. And you don't need to go any further than to look at studies where they control calories and vary the glycemic index. You don't see differences in long-term glycemia or body fat. You just don't see it. It may be a wise idea to include low glycemic foods because they tend to be higher in fiber and more satiating. It also may be wise to include them if you're somebody who's like really, really unhealthy and you want to get your glycemia under control very quickly. But over the long term, the glycemic index doesn't seem to make a large difference in blood sugar levels if calories are controlled between experimental groups. So yeah, this idea that like, you just eat a grain of rice and all of a sudden you're diabetic. Even your favorite Harvard studies show that it has the same effect as- I love when they point out Harvard studies. Behind every dumb statement that has been made about nutrition, there's a Harvard study that's cited. Now I'm not saying that Harvard is a bad school, they're actually a great nutrition school. But the amount of TikTok morons who misinterpret these studies is Insane. Sorry, Harvard. He's eating pure table sugar. And the only difference- Yeah, if you eat rice, it turns into sugar in your body. Like all other carbohydrates. Who gives a shit? Who cares? In fact, there was a study all the way back in 2001. We've known this for 20 years and people don't seem to care. Where they tightly controlled calories amongst two calorie restricted groups, macros equated, but one group got 110 grams of table sugar a day. The other group got less than 10 grams of sucrose per day. Guess what? Zero difference in fat loss, zero difference in weight loss, and zero difference in pretty much any blood lipid measures. The only difference was a small but significant difference in LDL cholesterol. And that was likely due to the fact that the group on the low sucrose diet ate more total fiber and fiber has been shown to reduce LDL cholesterol, but it wasn't even a big difference. This post 
gave me ADHD. Just kidding, I already had ADHD, but this post definitely made it worse. And I can't get over the, I don't know, the whole get up. I'm usually not a big person on appearance. Like if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it looks like a clown, talks like a clown, probably clown. Only difference between white and brown rice is brown rice still has the outer layer on it. It's the same thing. And more fiber, but still. Rice is also very low in fiber and hard for your body to digest. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did he just say? It's low in fiber and hard for your body to digest. Does he understand what digestion is? Spoiler alert, no he doesn't. Does he understand what fiber is? So fiber is either fermentable or non-fermentable, but is not really digested like a carbohydrate because of the structure of fiber. Because it's actually just chains of glucose, but they're inaccessible to some of our digestive enzymes. Now, in the case of fermentable fiber or soluble fiber, it can be fermented by the bacteria of the gut and fermented to form short chain fatty acids, which can be beneficial. Insoluble or non-fermentable fiber tends to not be digested at all and just excreted in the feces. It's good, adds bulk to your feces, etc. But him saying, oh, it's hard to digest because it doesn't have fiber, Stuff that doesn't have fiber is actually easier to digest, you clown. Wow, we got 14 seconds left. Whew, and we're going on eight minutes here in this video. Impressive, the Hulk. Rice is also very high in starch. Starch is acidic and acidic body is where disease lives and grows. Ooh, the only thing acidic is your brain, bro. So this whole idea that, man, there's acidic food. It's gonna cause acidosis. Don't tell them that your stomach has six molar hydrochloric acid, which is orders of magnitude more acidic than any food you could possibly take in. Don't tell them that everything comes out of your pyloric sphincter, the lower sphincter of the stomach. Everything comes out of the pyloric sphincter and empties into your duodenum is acidic as fuck. Everything, literally everything. In fact, the Hulk worrying about the acid content of rice is like worrying about a BB gun that got shot at you when there's a nuclear bomb about to explode next to you. Yeah, the BB gun, you might feel it, but probably not because, oh, that's right, it's a nuclear bomb exploding next to you. Fortunately, our bodies are these wonderfully evolved machines that know that, hey, we have acidic stuff coming into the intestine. That could be a problem. Oh, that's why we put in all this stuff to neutralize the acid during digestion. Nine seconds left. Only eat black rice and wild rice. They're less starch and they're less harmful. What? I, I mean, okay, cool. But you just talked about how there's like rice is starch and bad for you. Um, but then you're like, but eat, eat rice. <sighs> I think we're done here. Comment the flex emoji if this helps. Share this to save a friend. Click the follow for daily health videos like this and message me if you need custom coaching. Of course he's a coach. Perhaps the Hottie Shriners or the Ringling Brothers are looking for somebody to train clowns for their circus. And I can only assume that is the kind of coaching he is referring to. That was less than a minute video. May God have mercy on our souls. I'm out.